what to do when Saudi Arabia cuts your yogurt, milk and cheese supply. If you're an enterprising Qatari business, you buy dairy cows, 4,000 of them from the United States and Australia. You then task thousands of laborers with working around the clock to build temperature and climate controlled sheds for your new cows on an expanse of land equal to 90 soccer fields. You line up your providers, dairy industry experts from Ireland and the United States, grain vendors from China, and raw material suppliers from Italy. Then you work out the logistics of what is being called the biggest ever planned cattle airlift. The cows will be joining their sheep friends here within the coming weeks. They're going to be loaded en masse into multiple 747s. They should all be here in Qatar around mid-July. The holding company behind this venture is already in the dairy business. It says the blockade presents possibilities. They won't come better than this opportunity for this time for the agriculture business in Qatar. Even if the blockade is eased, people are now more aggressive into local brands. They want national brands, and this is what everybody is doing now. Replacing Saudi Arabia as Qatar's major dairy provider is expected to increase company revenues tenfold. The next phase, import 10,000 more cows and export dairy goods to global markets. Stephanie Fried, CGTN, Al-Ukda, Qatar.